Hello and welcome to IGCSE Tube. Uh, so this is uh, part number five of chapter number 14, Organic Chemistry. Um, in this video, we will be talking about, sorry, let, let me get the highlighter. Um, we will be talking about the substitution reaction of alkanes with halogens, and not only chlorine, with halogens in general. Um, and a quick note before I start with that, um, in the previous video, which is part number uh, four, um, I talked about how alkanes are generally low reactive. Um, and then I talked about uh, combustion of alkanes. And I said when they burn, they burn easily. They give much heat and with a blue flame. Obviously, this shows they are reactive. So you're going to ask me, like, how come you just said it is unreactive? Uh, they're generally unreactive and you're saying like they burn easily, they give much heat. So um, the only thing I'm sorry about that I didn't highlight that combustion is an exception to the statement I mentioned, to the statement that alkanes are generally low reactive. So I just wanted to make a quick note about that. And even if you read the syllabus, uh, you will find that highlighted, which is describe the properties of alkanes exemplified by methane. Um, that is, they're um, generally uh, unreactive as being generally unreactive except in terms of burning, that is combustion. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to say before uh, moving on. So, now to the substitution uh, reactions. Um, okay, so alkanes react with halogens. Um, as I said in the previous video, halogens are group number seven elements uh, like chlorine and bromine and so on. Uh, by substitution, but in a, under certain condition, under a certain condition, and that is in the presence of ultraviolet light. It can be direct or diffused sunlight, it doesn't matter, but as long as UV light is present, uh, the alkane can react uh, with the halogen. So now, quick examples. So here we have methane. When it reacts with chlorine, um, under uh, UV light, the presence of UV light, it gives you chloromethane. Uh, so one of the hydrogen atoms has been replaced by a chlorine atom. And the, uh, that hydrogen atom reacts with the second chlorine atom to form hydrochloric uh, acid. I can draw like, um, oh, let me highlight this before uh, I draw the structure. Uh, the chlorine has to be in gaseous state because um, alkanes are, are generally unreactive, as I said. So in order for this reaction to take place, not only UV light has to be present, the chlorine has to be in gaseous uh, state. So uh, not liquid state or aqueous. So let me draw the structure quickly. So the methane, as you know, it's obviously has four uh, hydrogen uh, atoms bonded to it. What happens is one hydrogen atom is removed and replaced by chlorine. So it becomes uh, chloro, uh, chloromethane. And uh, this hydrogen atom which left, it bonds with uh, chlorine, the second, uh, because there are two chlorine atoms, bonds with the second chlorine atom to give you hydrochloric acid. Another example is ethane with bromine. Again, the bromine has to be in vapor state, not aqueous. Um, let me get the highlighter again. Uh, it has to be in vapor state and uh, in the presence of UV light. Uh, gives you bromoethane and uh, the hydrogen atom, which has been replaced by bromine atom, uh, bonds with the second bromine atom to give uh, hydrobromic acid. So it's, it's almost the same. It's just similar. Um, uh, it's just, I mean, different in terms of this is chlorine and this is bromine. So let me draw again the structure and see how this was done. So you have here um, ethane and you have all of these are hydrogens. Hydrogen, 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 and a hydrogen. And you have here an hydrogen. This will be removed and it will be replaced by a bromine. And this hydrogen goes and bonds with the second bromine atom. Okay. Now, uh, another example, uh, you have propane, again, with chlorine uh, in the presence, uh, in gaseous state, and in the presence of UV light, gives you chloropropane um, and hydrochloric acid. The reason why I'm mentioning uh, this example is that uh, isomers 
um, like chlorobromine has two isomers. Now, if you don't know what isomerism is, uh, you need to go to, I guess, part number two to understand uh, what I'm going to say right now. Uh, I'm going to put the link of part number two uh, in the description box uh, in case you're unable to reach it. So anyways, chloropropane um, uh, shows isomerism. So because the chlorine can either be placed on um, the first uh, carbon atom, and so it will be called one chloropropane, or it can be placed on the second uh, carbon atom, and so it will be called two chloropropane. Now, if you haven't watched my video about isomerism, you will say, oh, no, it has three isomers because I can put the chlorine here, remove this and put the chlorine here, and it will be called three chloropropane. That's absolutely wrong. Because if you watch the video about isomerism, um, either if you put it here or here, it is still called one. So if this chlorine, so let me get the eraser. So, and let me get the, um, let me also erase this. Okay, and let me get the blue color. So if this was hydrogen and this was the chlorine, still it will be called one chloropropane. So it doesn't matter. Uh, so it only has two isomers, either one chloropropane and two chloropropane. Okay, another note, uh, bromine aqueous, as I said, is low reactive and does not react with alkanes. It has to be, uh, it has to be in vapor state. Um, even um, if it's put in carbon tetrachloride. Uh, carbon tetrachloride is a solvent, uh, which is usually put with bromine to make it more reactive uh, or like easier to react with um, hydrocarbons. But still, even if it's put... Uh, it won't react, even if the bromine aqueous is put in uh, carbon tetrachloride and alkane, it won't react. So it needs to be, as I said, in a uh, vapor state. That's just like a quick note. Uh, it's not mega important, but I just thought of mentioning it as well. Okay, last but not least, before we end this video. So uh, we talked that if an alkane reacts with a halogen under uh, UV light, it gives you um, um, it gives you like uh, these products that we talked about. Now, if under certain conditions and in the presence of heat, so here there is heat, there is no U, like not not UV light, there is heat. Something known as destruction reaction takes place, not substitution reaction. So what happens here is we have methane and then we have chlorine. If there is heat, it will give you carbon only and it's called black soot, okay, because it's like black in color and it gives you hydrochloric acid. So that's only in the case of heat, uh, in, the pres in the case of the presence of heat, destruction reaction takes place and not substitution reaction now obviously the equation is not balanced like if uh, without the orange numbers it's not balanced so you have one c and there's one c here so that's fine you have four hydrogens so we'll put the four here which is already like i already put it while preparing the material so we put the four here now you will have four chlorine so as i said in the previous video when you come to balance an equation the reactant side has to be equal to the product side so here you have four chlorine so you go here you have two so what multiplied by two would give you four it is a two obviously uh, all right, I think I'm going to end the video here. And in part number six, I'm going uh, to talk about alkenes. And then in part number seven, I'm going to talk about the third uh, reaction of alkenes, which is uh, cracking. And the reason why I'm doing part six, um, uh, like to be alkenes and not cracking, because cracking needs an understanding of alkenes. That's why in part number six, I'm going to discuss what is meant uh, by alkenes and introduce them. Um, thank you very much for watching and I hope you find this video uh, helpful. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to post it in the comment section below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, please subscribe to know uh, when I upload any new video. And thank you and see you in the next video.